What's going on guys, it's Joel here and welcome to episode 6 of Building Bane. Okay, so in this episode we're going to be playing three games as per usual. As you can see there, we're accepting an offer of fitness cards because I thought, you know what, I don't really want to be spending money on fitness cards and my players' fitnesses are just getting ridiculously low like to a fact where I just can't play when people are down to 40 fitness, which is just ridiculous. So I can't afford to buy them at the moment because I just won't be going anywhere, if you know what I mean. So I decided to transfer some over. 200 coins did accompany that, but that was only because I had to buy a player for the transfer offer to be sent over. So I'm just making my coins back, if you know what I'm trying to say. We come into a game here against, in the um, Gold Cup, and Tony Cruz smashes that into the corner. What a goal. Even get a 10G from that. That was such a good goal from Tony Cruz. However, in the 81st minute, our hearts are broken by Muriel, who cuts inside with a Ronaldo chop and finesses it to the far post. I can't do anything about that. And then it just goes from bad to worse when Tevez heads it home in the 90th minute. In the semi-final of the Gold Cup, I could not believe it. We'd be knocked out in the semi-final yet again. I thought, you know, screw this. We're going back into divisions. And then we come up against this team. It's just not going to be my day, really. Benzema with, like, an acrobatics or effort that I really think Stark should have done much better to save that. However, we do manage to come back here. Javi Martinez playing a nice one-two with Bizarro. Um, Javi Martinez finally getting it back and volleying that into the back of net. Did not expect that from our CDM, Javi Martinez. But, we know we're not going to complain. We thought we were going to win this. I thought I thought we may just win this. We headed over the bar just at the last. Maybe we'd have got that goal and it would have been all good. However, it ends as a draw, which was, again, a very disappointing result. I'd been on such a good run recently. I tried the Gold Cup and it just went all wrong. I should not have done that. So we come up against another game. I'm not playing well today. I'm sort of chasing my bad form. I could have, should have really quit and just called it a day and come back another day. And then I come up against this team. Pretty much the best BPL team you could ever imagine. And only took the fourth minute for Daniel Sturridge to absolutely fire that into the top net. And that was all that happened. It was a deadlock for the whole game. Apart from that, Daniel Sturridge, sweaty OP goal. I could not believe it. I was so furious. We'd lost another game, that was one loss, two losses, sorry, and one draw for this um, series, for this episode, sorry, and I was like, ah, I cannot believe it, I was so angry, and I was just like, you know what, fuck it, I'm just gonna go into another game, try and get that victory that we've struggled to get all today, I just could not believe it, so we go into another game, which again was stupid, I'm just ruining my record at this point, I had a really, really nice record prior to this and then I just went and fucked up and look at the team again it's just absolutely ridiculous what are you doing to me EA <sighs> we do manage to take the lead however with a corner comes into big Daniel Van Voigt who's such a threat from corners he scores every day of the week from corners no joke unfortunately though Danny Welbeck with an absolute peach of the volley into the top right hand corner I could not believe that went in I was like no it is 1-0, and I'm not going to win this game. Sigurdsson running down the wing here. Cross it in. Danny Welbeck again making it 2-1. I was just absolutely furious. I was playing so well before, and then today it just all went to shit. We do get a little bit of luck. I mean, what the hell was going on there? That managed to get us to 2 or draw in the end. However, I'm not a happy man by any stretch of the imagination. I could not believe it. We... Two losses and two draws is just terrible for this episode of Bearing Bay. And I'm used to getting three wins and zero losses. Could not believe it. However, we are going to bounce back strongly. I'm sure about it. And I decide now we've got 4,000 coins, which is pretty decent. We need to make a new sign-in. Go ahead and we're going to buy Thiago. He looks like a great player. 77 passing, 72 base, 85 dribbling. I like that. And we managed to get him for 450 coins, which is just ridiculously cheap for a... Good Bayern Munich 81 rated cam. He's not shiny, which is probably why he is so cheap. And then I do something that, you know, I thought was pretty clever. I go ahead and I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to go ahead. I keep saying go ahead. And it's like a cereal bar and I don't even eat them. I don't even know what I'm talking about. So I do go ahead and buy a cam to send to mid card. Stick it on Tony Cruz. And this actually means I can play him at the CDM spot or the cam spot. And he will get full chemistry either way. Whatever I fancy. So we can have a... Thiago at Cam for now, see how he does. And we can have Tony Cruz at CDM with that Javi Martinez. I think Tony Cruz will be fairly good at CDM just because 
he's good at those long passes, good at those long shots, and he'll just be a really good player there. So yeah, that's pretty much the end of this episode. If you did enjoy it, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I had a terrible, terrible run of games this episode, but I'm sorry about that. It will definitely improve in the next episode, and I know that for sure. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.